Okay, I think that I <clears throat> am rolling here. So, as you know, I have been working on losing weight because I had a diagnosis of cancer, uterine cancer, stage one adenocarcinoma of the uterus. And uh, I had a total hysterectomy for it. That was the treatment of choice. Um, I do have to follow up every few months with my GYN oncologist to make sure that that does not come back. Um, <clears throat> there is a 5% chance that it can come back, but I'm gonna work really hard to make sure it doesn't come back. Um, some of my other health issues that I'm going to be working on this year is Bell's palsy. Um, I had a bout of Bell's palsy in 2014 and resulted in left partial facial paralysis, which is why you will see my left eye um, sort of a blink blinking sluggishly or um, just squinting so that I look like a pirate. And my the, the left side of my mouth will be kind of drooping down a little bit at times. Um, <clears throat> some of the, some of uh, what another diagnosis that I have is anxiety and depression. Um, I did recently uh, see a psychiatrist and they diagnosed me also with binge eating disorder. So I'm being treated for all three and hopefully that will help in my um, desire to become healthier this year. Um, I also have diabetes type 2. I was diagnosed about five years ago. I was in denial for about the first two years and then my blood sugar got really, really high and I ended up in the ER. So now I am on insulin. Uh, I'm also taking tablet uh, anti-diabetic um, medication. We'll see how that um, works out. It is coming down. My blood sugar is under greater control. Um, I also have a slight elevated blood pressure. <clears throat> I'm a nurse, so I'm under a lot of stress and I have a house. I'm single and I'm dealing with a lot of stuff. So um, no surprise that I have high blood pressure. Um, I am taking medication for that as well. Um, I, I, of course, have high cholesterol. And so I'm taking medication for that as well. And um, what else? I have um, rosacea, which is why you see uh, kind of a blush on my cheeks and sometimes some bumps. And um, for that, I am also on medication. Uh, what else? I have sleep apnea, obstructive sleep apnea. And for that, I have a CPAP machine. So for all of these medical conditions that I have, I will be working on improving. I want to lose weight so that I don't have to use the CPAP machine to sleep. Um, I want to reduce the amount of insulin I have to inject myself with every day. If I can get off of it, that would be great, but I have a feeling I'll always be on it. Um, <clears throat> my cholesterol will definitely want to reduce and just um, work on my anxiety and depression and binge eating and just lose weight, get stronger, get healthier. I am exercising a little bit. I do need to exercise some more. Um, I am drinking water. And that is basically my problem. Those are my problems. And um, I will be working on them in the year 2016. And um, in the future, I will keep you updated with my weight, with my um, ongoing medical conditions. And um, I have lost a total of 16 pounds in two months. And I will continue working towards getting a healthier lifestyle. And so I'm going to end this vlog by saying, please give me advice and any supportive, nice information. I am not interested in, in gastric surgery um, or any other type of abdominal surgery after that lovely hysterectomy I just had. Um, I will continue to talk about uh, my medications that I'm taking and um, any additional goals that pop up that I want to work on. Have a great day. Thank you.